hello everyone welcome to this video in this video i want to show you how to connect your pycharm to github and start using the virtual control system i'm not going to get into uh, very much detail into branching but i want you to show you how to how you create a project and and start using github to uh, kind of manage your code and sync your code that you're writing if you're writing a very new you're a very new programmer okay so the first thing that i want you to do is check if you have git installed on a system run git if you are on a on a linux system most linux system they will have git automatically installed you don't have to do anything if not just do a sudo git install git uh, for windows system i would like you to go uh, and then look for git for windows and download the git for windows in your system once you have downloaded you will have a console level level and we will be running some commands in there so once you have that installed uh, the next you need to do a git config username and git config uh, git config uh, username and your email address so those two things you need to configure so what i would like you to do here let me do a clear so get config dash dash list so if you have your username and, and uh, email configured already you don't have to do anything now the email address that you will be configuring i want you to use that one to open up a, a, a github account okay so let me just open up a new private window so if you go to the github.com Okay, you should be able to sign in, uh, sign in or sign up. If you have one email account already, you can use that one. Or you can sign up with a new uh, email address. So whatever that email address, I would like you to use here and set it up, user email. Now, if you don't have anything set up, the commands that you need to run are going to be, I'm going to show you uh, the command that we just saw. So close this one and close this one. Uh, so this is one command git config global username. Let me just copy it and put it in here and I'm going to put paste it uh, With the video that I'm doing and then your email will be like this and Let me come back over here So once you have done that, okay, so you have configured you created a github account and you installed the git in your local machine uh, And you have set up your git config you're ready to go so let's open a PyCharm project, okay? And PyCharm. So that is what is gonna give me a new project and what I am gonna do, I'm just gonna create a new project from here. So let's just see what it's doing. File, I'm gonna say new project and Python project for GitHub, okay? something like that and doesn't matter what kind of version you, or python you have just create a project and i'm going to open it in the current window and it created a sample file for me right so main.py what i'm going to do i'm just going to delete this whole thing just give me a clean file and i'm just going to say uh, this is my first hello world file okay and then i'm going to type print and then hello world okay so now at this moment this file is not colored right and this file is not being tracked in any version control system so to be able to start using your virtual control system all you need to do is go to the vcs okay let me see if it let me let me make this a little bit bigger go to vcs okay it's taking a little bit of time give me a second vcs still not good all right so all you need to do is go to vcs and in vcs we want to create a git repository so just click that one and notice this file has no color now and if i say okay look the file color has changed to red that means we have successfully initiated a git repository and but this file is not being tracked 
to add this file for tracking we would right click on it go to git and then hit add now if you notice this file color has now become green that means its file is now being tracked but it's not committed it's in the staging area so to commit this change that i have i'm gonna do go to git again and then commit file it will bring up the window where i can write my commit message i'm gonna say my first commit and then i'm going to comment this one okay so now what happened if you go back and look at the color of the file it's now there's no color again so that means my file is completely committed and we are good to go now what i want to do at this time so this repository is not connected to the github it's locally being tracked so the next thing that i want to do i want to click on git and then go to github and then I want to select share project on github so if i click that one so now this is saying uh it's saying a bad credential so let's we need to fix our credential problem so what we want to do let's see github it's trying to pick up uh, my credential from my local uh, machine that's that I'm using and that I have created previously so I need to recreate my credential here so give me one second all right I remove the bad token so I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to try the same thing go to git github share project on github and this time uh, what I'll do I have to create uh, the add account in here we'll create so this is picking up the project name i'm going to click on add account and the option that i want to choose is the log in with token so i'm going to click that one and i don't have any token i'm going to generate one now this token i will delete right after i'm done with the lab so this is test token 2 okay and what i would like to do based on your need you can keep it at no expiration if you like and it says that hey the token that leave 44 are scary so expiration is good so maybe i'll choose 30 days and at the moment i'm going to give them all the permissions in here okay admin notification user delete repo all of that stuff at the moment and then i'm going to create the generate token and i'm going to copy that token from here okay and next what i'll do i'll come back over here and paste the token and click add account so what is going on right now so now it added and authenticated myself and then i'm going to click on share and now if you look at the bottom it says it's successfully shared project on github so you can click on this one python project for github okay so this one directly took me to the github and now look at that my main.py file it has the my comment and it's now synced to the github and it says print hello world okay so i can click on the history and this file has only one comment okay and that is exactly what we have our local machine so now for example here i added another file okay so now let's click and add another python file so let's say second file dot py i can say and now it's automatically asking immediately do you want to add the following file to git i'm gonna say yeah add it so now it's showing up as red i'm gonna say add now it has become green now i'm gonna say print my second file okay so in, at this time i know this is a change and it's green mean it's not uh it's not committed okay now let's go back to my and then even edit that file so print i'm gonna say changes after first edit okay now if you look at it come back okay so both files uh one it was committed with some changes it was not it was in the staging area but not committed yet so at this time what i'm i can do i can uh, click on these files individually 
and uh, this one I can actually first need to add okay so go back to git and then say add so this file is okay this file is now uh, edited and then this let me see this one git and then to add so this file actually I didn't need to do that add it's already uh, there so what I need to do here is uh, commit so here what I'll do maybe I'll come back over here and do a, a commit and let's see that when I see hit the commit it's picking up both files okay now it says added they're showing up in green right that's a new file and since the other file was there so it showed up in blue okay I'm gonna say this one my second comment and then I'm gonna hit comment so I can commit for locally and then I push as a second option or I can do commit and push which will commit these files and automatically push my files to github so for now let's just do commit so if I do that now go back and then both file colors has become uh, no color at all so there's a, there's no color at the moment that means my commit has been successful so what what I can open up this git branch here so git branch is also showing okay I had the first commit and this is the second comment but this second comment should not be available in my github yet because I have not pushed my code back to github so I'll come back over here and over here I can click on the push and it's going to do the same thing it's going to ask and then I'm going to say okay go ahead and push the code since I have already provided my authentication it says pushed one commit to the origin master so now if you come back over here and refresh this page look at that my second commit is over here so if I now go back over here to my parent folder now you see the second file that we have added is also here okay let's do one more thing so in here what I'll do I'm gonna create and add another file which is a byte okay so I'm gonna call it third file third file dot uh, py okay so in this case uh, once I have this third file dot py actually I added it in a wrong place I'm just gonna move it here it's not under venv so I'm gonna get rid of this hold on so delete yes the file the place where I want to add is here so new file and this is the third file dot py so now it's at the right spot and it's in red because it's never been added so it's asking again automatically do you want to add the file following file to get i say yeah okay add it so now i have a third file again according to the color scheme i have this file that is new it's added to the stage but not committed so let's make some changes here so main maybe no change we're gonna we are not gonna change anything so second file maybe add some new change print changes after second comment so that is my my code that I have and every single time these are still valid Python code you can always run it okay so <coughs> what I have now if you look at the color I have three files one it, it is tracked there is no change it, it was already committed earlier okay this third file is a brand new file and the second file it was committed earlier but with some changes so what I need to do here again this one I definitely need to add so I'm gonna go down to get and then hit add so now you are left with uh, one file well that file was actually added so I just need to do a commit really so let's just go here and click the commit button again and let's see how many files are picked up so now you see that only two files got picked up because the first file there was no change so I don't need to do anything with this particular comment on that particular file so I'm gonna say this is my third comment and I can also add some notes so I can say third file is brand new uh, then second file has was modified okay I can have a multi-line command 
comment if, if I like then in this time instead of doing commit and then going over here and push the code I'm just going to click on commit and push okay so let's do that commit and push and then push now you see now I have three different comments in my branch and since I have done this commit and push in a same, same operation so if I go back to my github and if I refresh I should see the third file and which it showed up with my third comment <coughs> okay and you can again you can always go back to any of these files okay and you can look at the history and it's going to tell you from between this file and that file what has changed you can open up so you know that we had the first file and then uh, we added the changes after the second comment okay so it will always track every single change that we are that we are doing locally so how is this helpful now at least even if you're not using a branching and if you do not don't know a lot of git and how to use it which you should learn you now at least have a way to keep working on your files and improving your git repository with the new files and projects that you're working on so if you go for an interview you have a git repository that is available to you you can showcase the code that you have written in your classes in your courses like even when you are a student so check it out try out some code and make sure that you understand the git workflow i haven't really touched the git commands once you are good with these commands you can also uh, uh, see some of the command from the terminal the the main commands that you need to know are the git init so that is really the initializing the git and it says the git is already initialized then the next interesting command is the git status okay so now it will tell you if there is any file that needs to be tracked okay git add is the command the how you add any of the files back to the git tracking and then git push would be the command how you push your code from local machine to the remote machine so you say git push origin master okay so i'm not going to cover this command line in the video today but play it out the ui that pycham provides and see the workflow makes sense to you in the next video maybe i'll go over some of the command line operations of git and how you can use it and get into some more advanced stuff such as branching marching doing pull request and things like that thank you for watching have a wonderful day